Alrighty, hello guys, welcome to Faces back to another Sprocket video. Today we are going to be building some sort of main battle tank that is going to be kind of modern. So let's go ahead and get on with it, shall we? Alright, so I believe the one with the late war is actually the showroom, but unfortunately if we go to the showroom, yes, look, it's late war. Uh, but obviously the showroom is just very, uh, very dull, so I, I guess what we'll do is we'll actually build it in here, and then I guess we'll take it to the, the mid-war one to, uh, test it out. So let's go ahead and get started. We're gonna start off by actually making it way wider. It's actually gonna be, uh, I guess something like 3.6 wide. That seems pretty wide, but it is also gonna be like 8 long, so, um... Yeah, I'm pretty sure those actually go together quite well. That is, that is one beefy looking tank already. That's crazy. All right, and then we're looking for height. So we're actually going to go ahead and increase this by a good chunk. We're actually going to make that about 1.4. There we go. That means that everything else actually has to go up to there. So I guess mobility will work on the tracks uh, straight away. However, I guess the tracks are a main part of this. So what we want to do is make the track width probably about a meter, which is, oh sorry, about 80. There we go. That seems pretty good. Uh, and then we'll actually make the midsection a little bit smaller. So we'll go back to the base. There we go. We'll drop this by 80. One, two, three, four. There we go. That's about right. And we'll actually extend these bits out uh, to be 80 as well. There we go. That is actually fantastic. I like it. We'll be raising this bit up as well. Uh, we'll also be changing the turret as well because reasons, and that should be good. Okay, mobility! This is where we have to do the wheels and things. So, we're going to do the rollers. They're actually going to go up quite a bit. They're going to go all the way up to there. That's fine. That's fantastic. Uh, at the front, the idler is also going to go up, so that'd be great. Here we go. The idler is actually going to go pretty much all the way to the top. Almost. Very close. Uh, and then the sprocket on the back is actually going to go pretty much all the way up as well. Uh, I think, actually, yeah, a little bit lower, but that's pretty good. The diameter of this is going to be huge. The diameter of the roller, uh, sorry, the idler is also going to be huge. There we go. Uh, and that's going to come backwards a tiny touch. All right, awesome. Yeah, that seems about right. Uh, we're then going to go ahead and make the road wheels interlevered, because I think that makes sense. We're going to make the width of them a little bit smaller. There we go, fantastic. And we're going to make their diameter just that tiny bit bigger. There we go. They're going to be pretty big. Pretty big indeedy. Nice. Alright, so what are we going to do then? I'm not actually sure. I think I want to move all of this backwards if I can. Uh, so we're going to go back to the base. We're going to go ahead and offset the front if I can. How do I do that? So lower, no. Top, no. Front. I guess we do need some of that, but no. Front offset. We're actually going to drag this back quite far. Uh, I don't know how far, I, I kind of want to take it all the way back there. But I want the turret to be in here, but that is not possible. That's not actually possible, but that is what I want. Can I move the turret there? Can I actually, I can't put the turret there. That's super annoying. Alright, well I guess the turret is going to have to go on top of this somewhere, but uh, not there. Anyway, we're going to go ahead and angle this quite a bit, because we should. We're going to angle this quite a chunk as well, because I guess we should as well. There we go, that's going to be angled a lot. We're also going to angle this bit in as well, and angle it forwards. There we go. Looks kind of interesting. I think it'll totally work. There we go. Angle it in as well. The turret on this thing is going to be ginormous, because it should be. Uh, so let's go ahead and offset it forwards. There we go. We're going to drag this bit forwards, as far as we can, pretty much. We're going to drag that out that way. Awesome. We're going to drag this out this way. Yes. And we're going to drag this backwards. Ah, uh, pretty much all the way. There we go. So that is going to be the gun of our main battle tank. It looks big. It looks beefy. I like it. There we go. Alright, so that looks a little bit too long though, doesn't it? But we'll go with it. Alright, as for firepower, I'm not entirely sure what these tanks usually have. I'm not going to lie. I, I don't really know. Uh, but because this fits right there, we're going to go ahead and whack it on. There we go. Uh, in fact, actually, maybe we should use this bit instead. Oh, this is way bigger. Alright, we're going to go with one of these. That seems fine. Uh, as for the caliber and stuff like that, we're gonna go with like a 120. I'm sure that'll be fine, I think. There we go. Uh, right, okay, so length we're actually gonna make a lot longer. There we go. 
We're gonna change the end of it to look like this, and that looks pretty sick. I like it. I really feel like it should be a lot more squat, though. So we're gonna go back to the base. There we go. We're gonna make the uh, height of it, so the height of the lower part, a little bit smaller. By about two. There we go. And then that looks way better, I think. That looks way better. We can then actually angle these pieces on the front a little bit as well if we want to. Which I do. <laughs> There we go, and that looks pretty good. As for mobility, let me move this forwards if I can. There we go. Why has it just got really tiny? Why has it just got really tiny? The diameter just changed to zero. What the heck? What the heck? That isn't even the sprocket either. That's the idler. Why can't I change that? Why can't I change how big the idler is? I have no idea. What have I done? I've just broken the whole thing. I have just broken it. Somebody help me. Whoa, that's the road wheels. It's not what I wanted to do. I can't even see on this side. Uh, right, okay. They're all good, but the diameter of the uh, idler needs to be bigger. There we go. Okay, cool. So I can actually do that. Awesome. So that'll go like that. Good. We'll then go at the fenders. We'll make it obviously a lot bigger at the front. So if I can, we're going to offset the front all the way. There we go. We're going to make it wider. There we go as well. And that looks pretty good to me. I like it. Alright, so we do need to work on this a little bit more. We need to go back to the tracks and we need everything to actually come out. So, we need the idler to actually come all the way out to the side as well. We need it to be pretty much as big as the sprocket. So, uh, we don't know how wide the sprocket even is. That's annoying. The road wheels, the width of those is 11. But that is not big enough. So, I'll actually do this. But then the spacing on the axle is going to go lower. But then we're going to make them wider. There we go. That actually looks pretty sick. I like that. That's good. Alright. Okay. And then the last thing is the return rollers. They're going to be a little bit bigger too. So the width of those is going to come all the way out. But not all the way. And that makes sense. Alright. Very cool. Alrighty. So let's go ahead and sort everything else out. We're going to go to the engine. And we're going to figure this out. Average is apparently good. So that's okay. We're going to put the exhaust on the rear of it. Yes, we are indeedy. Can I use these? I mean, I really want to, but I'm not sure how I want to use them. Like, it would work like this, but it wouldn't at the same time. Um, yeah, so those don't really work. We can make them smaller, obviously, but it's a big tank. We don't want to make things smaller. These things, however, I guess they work. There we go. I'm going to continue to use these things because I really like them. So there we go. We'll have a bunch of those. Good. The vent, the engine on this thing, is actually going to go uh, on the middle, if we can. If we can bring it forwards a little bit, that would be great. There we go. Alright, awesome. So the vents for the engine are actually going to go on the front. When realistically, they should probably go on the top at the back. So if I can fit them there, that would be perfect. But I can't. Actually, how about in the middle? There we go. I can fit one right there, and the engine's just going to be in the back. Alright, sure. Why not? Fenders. All right, riveted parts. We're putting you on. It's your turn. Here we go. All right, you need to be absolutely ginormous, apparently. There we go. Put you right there. Okay, very good. We're then going to attach you. Actually, wait. Take that bit forwards. We need one of these. Sorry, nope. One of these to be huge and to go on the back. Here we go. So that's actually going to go there. All right, very nice. This is going to attach to it. There we go. We need more of these, please. There we go. Uh, another one, probably. Actually, no. One of these. About the right size, please. Thank you. Okay, that seems pretty good. And then that's it. Or actually, maybe one of these. One of these to finish it off. Nope, one of these ones. Here we go. Just to put it right there. That would be great. But we can't do it. We can't do it. Okay, hold on. Hold on one second, please. I need it to come all the way to the front. And I need it to fit, like, right there. Okay, that seems pretty good, actually. We're going to drag this one forwards as well. There we go. We're going to drag this one forwards also. There we go. Come on. There we go. Awesome. Uh, and then what we're going to do is we're actually going to do these ones. Here we go. So it's going to fit in 
I would love it to go in properly, but like that, kind of. Hmm. Hmm. Guys, how do I how do I fit this in? I have no idea. I have n literally no idea. If I get rid of this, we'd still have the same problem. We would. We'd still have the exact same problem. Hmm. Hmm. Alright, I came up with a patch, and that is it right there. It looks pretty weird, but we can roll with it. We can definitely roll with that. Yeah, why not? Alright, mobility fender. We're actually going to do the section lengths. We're going to make them huge, because that just makes sense. And that actually looks pretty good. I like the way this looks. We need to go back to firepower. Our penetration is 180. That is actually pretty good, to be honest. Uh, our elevation rate is 4, so that's actually really good. Uh, if we go back to this, it says right there, that is amazing. We should be able to make that better. We can actually make it 5. So if we do this, we can actually elevate and... Oh, wow. Yeah, that's pretty quick. Nice. It doesn't really feel like a main battle tank, though, does it? Not really. So I guess we've built something else, but that's okay. We're allowed to change our mind halfway through, aren't we? I'm pretty sure we are. We're going to put these on top of there. That seems awesome. We're going to go ahead and put some commander ports on. I'm actually going to put two on. One's going to be big, and then the other one's going to be pretty small next to it. There we go. We're going to put infantry fighting stuff on the top. So one of those there, and another one next to it. We're actually going to have two. Two guns on the top, kind of crazy, not going to lie. All right, move it forwards, actually. There we go, awesome. Um, that looks sick. I like it. Good. Uh, we're not going to put any logs on the side. That just doesn't seem like the right thing to do in this situation. We will put these underneath here, however. If I could fit them. We can't actually put them on. We can make the tank look massive if we just make everything tiny. Oh, that's a good point, actually. That is a good point. There we go. All right, very good. Let's have some toey bits. There we go on both sides. Awesome. Uh, we'll actually put some there as well. And we'll also put some on the front. There we go. All right, amazing. We don't really want any riveted bits. Not really. No, that would suck, actually. Riveted bits would suck. Crew hatches, we'll go ahead and put some of those on the front. Do, 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 do. There we go, just like, just like that. There we go. Lights, we'll also put those on the fenders, actually. And then the rear lights, we'll put those down here. Okay, fantastic. Utilities, do we need any more? Uh, I don't know. Stowages? Oh, this would have been cool for this. We can still put it on, it just looks too small. It looks very, very tiny. I'm not sure about it. Probably not. What about this one? What about this one? That one just looks weird. I'm not sure what this would even be on. It's really weird. Alright, we're going to put that on anyway. It looks very strange. We'll make it a little bit bigger. So that it fits the whole turret. There we go. And that's kind of cool. I like it. Nice. Uh, crew hatches. We're also going to put some more of these on. In random places. So that's going to go there like that. Pretty strange place to put it, but that's okay. Um, we're going to attach these onto the top. At the back, there we go. We're also going to put these on the top as well. There we go. And we're going to add some riveted parts just for uh, reasons. Just for reasons. All right, get rid of this. We're going to be putting it in right here. Just adds a little bit of detail, I think, that we might possibly need. All right, here we go. Drag it around until it's level. And that makes sense. All right, cool. So, gonna driver's port. We need all of those things. Driver's port's gonna go right in the center. Gunner's view is gonna go on the tippity top. Actually, should it go on the side? Let's put it there. Looks a bit weird, but sure. We'll put these right here. Awesome. And I guess that's good. Can we put these on? We can. We can actually fit these. I kind of want to. I do, I really want to, so we will. Alright, let's put this on all the way down the side. If I can, there we go. One more. And one more. Okay, good. There we go, we, we've added some things. We have added some things. Very good. Uh, can I put this on the back too? I, I, I doubt this would actually be a thing, but we can put them on. There we go. Why not? 
Okay, so if we go back to the size of it, we can actually see that it is 8 meters long. So this thing is not small. This thing is not small at all. It just doesn't really look like a main battle tank. And I'm not, I'm not entirely sure how to make it look like one. Maybe the turret is too high. Maybe the turret is too high, but uh, can I do much about it? Oh, there we go. Yeah, no, that makes it look way more like a main battle tank. And then we can actually make it go forwards. Here we go. Forward offset. We can bring this all the way forwards to there. We can get rid of this stowage thing on the back. Yeah, like that. And that actually looks way more like the tank that we want. Yes, that looks cool. I like it. Should we make the turret a little bit bigger as well? Here we go. A little bit wider. Yes, because I think it should be. We'll actually drag this in a little bit as well. And that actually looks pretty sick. Yeah. And then we can actually attach these to the back. Because we should really have these on the back like this. And the exhaust pieces need to go here. And also, we'll actually do it like they're offset. Because I think that's actually kind of cool. There we go. Offset um, thingamabobbies. Very nice. We then need to figure out a way of using these. So we're actually going to try and put these on the side. But it's going to be difficult because they won't go on. Smaller? Even smaller. That's as small as they go. And we can only place it back here. Interesting. Right, we're going to have to delete all of these pieces. That's all fine. Good. And we're going to put more of these on. In fact, if I can make it a tiny bit bigger and they still fit, that would be perfect. Which it is. All right. Good. Okay, drag it forwards a little bit. Drag it forwards a little bit as well. Okay, we got some things right there. That's pretty awesome. Can we go back to mobility, grab something like this, and attach it to the side so it looks cool? Or is it always so far away? It's too far away. It is actually too far away. But, like, two of these would look amazing up here. What if we had a few of these, actually? There we go. Like, a few of those. They look weird, but I kind of like them. Uh, right, okay. Anything else that we can do? Anything else that we can do? Can I use this? That looks strange. Only on that bit. Looks a bit weird. Alright, as for the gun, the gun is actually fine. We can move it up and down. That's awesome. We can move it left and right. Penetration's actually pretty high, which is awesome. Uh, yes. Okay, gun sights. They are still on. Put them right there. Very good. Mobility gear systems. We're going to change them to whatever it needs. And I think that's all right. Yeah, I think this is actually pretty good. Let's see if it moves. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Do the lights turn on if I drive away? How do I use the lights? Oh, the lights do. The lights are sort of working. They're not really doing much. Oh, look, the real lights work. That's cool. All right, turn it around. I can barely see a thing out here. Shoot. Oh, that's amazing. Yes. Okay, I like that. Okie dokie. So, I think what we've got here is actually pretty awesome. We are going to add a livery to it. Now, I'm not sure. I'm not really sure what livery it should have. I'm kind of thinking a desert camo would, would go with a main battle tank. But, uh, at the same time, something like this also works. Also, something like this works too. And I do kind of like this. Let's actually get rid of these things. Alright, on mobility. Let's get rid of... Uh, da, 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 these pieces. Don't really like them. We're actually going to put riveted pieces on instead. Which is kind of a strange thing to do. I'm not going to lie. It is a weird thing to do. But I think we can make it look pretty cool. So we'll do this. There. And then we'll attach another one a little bit angled backwards as we go. And that looks pretty sick. Yeah, I like that. Can we attach these pieces? I don't know what they are. But like we should attach them. There we go, let's put that there. On both sides. We'll also attach some of these to both sides as well. Just like random detail. There we go. We can't put these on their sides, but that's alright. What about this? Oh, what about this? This would be cool. There we go, attach that right there in the middle. Awesome. Yeah, no, that works. That does actually work. Fantastic. Uh, is there anything else that we should really, like, desperately add? I'm not sure there is. I'm not sure there is. Uh, more guns would be cool. We'll actually put some guns. I would like to put a gun on the front. This is definitely a World War II looking thing though. Uh, and that isn't the best. But we could put those there like that. Kind of interesting. Stowages. We can put these on the turret as well. 
And I think we sort of should. Maybe these. On the on the turret. There we go. Yeah, little baskets. That's kind of a good idea. There we go. I like that. I, do, I think I do actually like that. That's cool. Uh, and then the rear of it. I guess we can add more baskets. Or we could try and add this back. If I add that back, does that look weird? I'm not sure. I think I like it. I do. I think I like this a lot. These pieces, however, they don't belong there. They don't. Maybe these should go there instead. There we go. And there we go. Fantastic. Yes. Anything else in utilities that we could really use? Uh, I'm thinking maybe one of these. These are huge. I haven't built anything that fits them yet. What about tiny ones of these? Here we go. Just like strapped on the side. I guess. Yeah, we could just do that on both sides. They're not for armor or anything, but they could be used. I feel like that makes sense. I can't actually put that on both sides. Why? Why can't I? Alright, well, I'm just going to do it anyway. Here we go. Like that. Alright, awesome. Yes. I really, really like this thing so far. I think we've done a pretty good job here. Um, I know that a lot of you guys in the comments down below are going to be like, that sucks, it's awful. Uh, but I am trying, and that is all that matters, you know? These would be pretty cool to add, just as random decoration. There we go, look at that. That looks kind of cool. I like it. Uh, right, okay, good. Well, I think that is pretty much everything we need to add to it. Uh, so we're going to leave that like that. I'm going to put this hatch up here just to get into the turret if we need to. I like it. I really like it. Alright, so with that being said then, it is in late war, which is unfortunate because there is no scenarios for this. We have saved it. We're going to go back to the menu. Uh, things are going to change a little bit when we get back into sandbox. But we're going to spawn it in in sandbox and we'll see what it's like. So, uh, I've literally just named it MBT. There we go. See what it looks like. That looks pretty good. Alright, cool. Everything's going to be a little bit slower because we're in mid-war. So we're actually in World War II right now. Uh, but this is pretty sick. I like it. I really do. I think it looks really good. Uh, the one thing that I would change, though, is I feel like the, uh, the wheels should be a little bit more on show. So go back here. Go to tracks. We're going to make the road wheels. We can't really change the road wheel height there. Uh, and realistically, the tracks wouldn't be on this kind of suspension. Um, but they are, so that's okay. We're going to go ahead and lift them up like this. That's pretty good. Uh, the diameter of this thing pretty high, actually, because it weighs a lot. We're also going to raise that up. There we go. All right, cool. Good. MBT, let's go. Should we try and take out a tank? It's probably a good idea. All uh, right, so Zed. We're going to spawn in the Centurion, and we're going to shoot it. Ready? Oh, yes. That is cool. That is so cool. I love it. You know, I kind of feel like it also works in this livery as well, uh, and I actually really think it works in this livery, so we might even keep it like this. Let me know in the comments down below what your favorite livery actually is as well. That'd be awesome to to hear from you guys. Also, let me know if you've made it this far into the video. Say something in the comments like Tiger. Anyway, uh, thank you guys very much for watching this video. If you guys want to see more builds like this one, then let me know in the comments down below as well, and I'll see what I can do. But for now, thanks for watching. See you in the next one. Goodbye. All right, so it turns out I missed some things. I missed the track segments. I've actually changed them to this one instead. Uh, and I've also added some to the top of here because I think it just looks cool. Uh, the other thing as well is liveries. I'm going to go ahead and make this one American. I'm going to make this one an American one. Uh, why not? You know, we'll put the, uh, the, the white star on there uh, for reasons. There we go. Looks cool. Good. We'll also actually place one on the back as well, a singular one. Right on the back right here. It looks like a target, but whatever, it's fine. Uh, if I can, I like to change this one, but I can't. I can't seem to actually change it to anything. Which sucks. What the heck? No! I need this paint to go away. I need the paint. Wait, actually. Wait, 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 wait. If I just change this now, there we go. And I put this back on. Then maybe, just maybe, it will go on the back. Which indeed it did. 
All right, so there we go. We got the American stars around the outside. We've got the extra tracks on the top. We've also put the um, uh, the, the, we've changed the tracks as well. Also, I have gone to the mobility and I've changed the engine. It's now a five liter. Well, actually, it's a eighty liter V sixteen. So um, there you go. That's what we've changed. Uh, because it was a bit slow before, it is still pretty slow, but it's not it's not awful. Uh, but it is pretty bad. We will need to change the gear ratios to change that, but um, I'll do that in my spare time. Anyway, for now, I think we've done a pretty good job of building this thing. Thank you guys very, very much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed it, and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye. Guys, I'm not gonna lie, there is even more that I missed, uh, and that is the armor. We actually need it to be very, very thick. We're gonna go with 200 mil everywhere, uh, because reasons. There we go, the sponsor, there we go, 200 mil literally everywhere, that's all fine. Uh, the rear is actually gonna be 200 mil as well, there we go, 200 mil literally everywhere. And the side, also 200 mil. Uh, although it can't be, which is unfortunate. Uh, there we go. We'll actually change the upper bit of the back to be a little bit less. There we go. To about 100. Uh, the sponsor to be a little bit less as well since it's angled. Uh, that looks pretty good. And the lower section just a little bit less as well. We're not going to get shot in the back all that much. So we'll actually just change all of those down uh, a little bit. There we go. That all seems pretty good. 153, 154, 155. Cool. Then we'll go to the turret and we'll figure this out. So armor, it's all pretty bad. It's all very bad. Front, we want it to be 200 mil literally everywhere. Uh, side, 200 mil. Uh, roof, I don't know, about 100 mil. I mean, that's pretty crazy anyway. Uh, ring, uh, 200 mil, why not? Rear of the tank, we're going to go ahead and make it just massive. And that's okay. There we go. That's literally everything that we need to do. Also, ammunition, we can hold more, so we'll just have that much more. We now weigh 140 tons. And we are slow as heck. Big boys. All right, cool. Well, anyway, now I can say thanks for watching. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one. Goodbye. <laughs>